this is what YouTubing is like over 40. It's kind of hot in here. Are you thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you're like over 40? Mm. Are you home alone on a Saturday night having a glass of wine? Then maybe you should start a YouTube channel from the comfort of your own couch. Okay, let's just start with the elephant in the room. My name is Alicia and I'm 42 years old. <laughs> Are you too old to be on YouTube? Let's discuss. Let's go over some of the excuses that a lot of us come up with of reasons why we're not pursuing the passions that we really, really wanted to over the hill. Let's start off with some of the classic excuses as to why you haven't started that YouTube channel yet. Number one, I don't have the money. For those of you that have a little thing called a phone, you have zero excuses. You probably paid $1,200 for your phone. And the ironic part is that you spent so much money for people to contact you and they never contact you. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick up this phone and you're gonna use it to your advantage. The other reason why people make an excuse of not having the money to start a YouTube channel is they think they need all of this fancy equipment when the truth is the sun is completely free. So is the moon. I mean, if you really wanna shoot outside at night, the moon is your light source, free, okay? And if you're an Apple person, you know darn well you've got iMovie on your phone on your laptop and on your desktop computer. The second excuse a lot of people make is that they don't have any time. But Alicia, I don't have any time. I am too busy. I have too many kids to take care of. I have a family. I'm a single mother. Okay, statistically, most people drop off watching a video right around the seven to 10 minute mark. So you don't need a lot of time to record video. At the most, give yourself 20 minutes to say everything that you need to say and then edit all that down to just 10 minutes. If you've only got 10 minutes to crank out content while you're on the crapper, then so be it. If that is the only alone time you get away from your children, then go for it. It might actually work. Let me tell you something about this excuse of there's too much competition. The truth is a lot of the YouTubers are in their 20s, but eventually those that started in their 20s are now in their 30s. Now, I remember when I was in my mid 20s and I was barely getting into Sex and the City and I enjoyed watching older women have a life. And all I did was watch Sex and the City so much there is a bug on my nose. All I did was watch Sex in the City because I couldn't wait to grow up. I wanted to watch older women be empowered and I dreamt of feeling that way when I was gonna be in my 30s. I watched older women because I wanted to learn from them. I wanted to see what they were wearing. I wanted to see how they were acting with men and careers and stuff. So I watched older people. Now let's talk about some of the setbacks. Setbacks are gonna be a little bit different than an excuse, okay? An excuse is you are making up dumb reasons not to start that YouTube channel. Now here's a legit setback, consistency. You might be a mom or a dad of five kids and there's just no way that you can commit to delivering even one video per week, I understand. Sometimes it is really hard to be consistent. The truth is people, you have to make time for this stuff. Here's another setback, shiny object syndrome. I can attest for this one. Okay, it is 2020. And for the last three years, I have wanted to start a YouTube channel and I've done all the things. I bought this equipment and then I bought that equipment. I was focusing so much on the wrong things. And then the moment I had the equipment, suddenly I was, looking at something new on YouTube about, you know, what to do and how I should grow my website. Oh, I should go to Instagram. Oh no, I should do Facebook ads. It just became so overwhelming that I didn't do anything for pretty much the first two years of me wanting to start a YouTube channel. A little bit of a camera break. I am in the process of 
lightening little by little over time because I am now patient. You just won't get it in one session. You have to be patient. You have to take appropriate steps to get the hair that you want. And starting a YouTube channel over 40 is no different than that. So let's talk about what finally got me going. Now I actually started my YouTube channel back in 2019, so I at least got started. But I really wasn't consistent. I only put out three videos and my mind was in a million other places. I was studying for, you know, the mortgage license exam. I was applying for jobs. I was also working part-time at my son's daycare. And then I was spending a lot of time just basically kind of trying to find myself. But let me tell you what finally got me going. And so far, I have been consistent with cranking out a new video each week on Wednesdays. You wanna know what that is? I lost my job for the second time in 2020. That was the wake up call that said, Alicia, stop fucking around, get your side hustle going, so that one day you can turn it into a full-time hustle. Now think about this. I started my channel in 2019. Had I been consistent back then, I would have set myself up for better success when the pandemic happened. I would have already been consistent each week. I would have already been dedicated to crank out a new video every week, probably even more than that once I was laid off the first time in 2020. And I could have actually grown my channel substantially had I actually started being consistent in 2019. When I lost my job twice in 2020, I realized that no matter how hard I worked to get that perfect job in the real estate industry, I realized that all of that could get wiped out and I had no control over it. Now let's talk about what I wish I would have done back when I started my YouTube channel. I wish I would have continued cranking out content, even if it wasn't consistent, because the truth is every time you pop out a new video, you're getting more and more practice towards getting better and faster at recording content. And had I done that starting in 2019, when the pandemic happened, I would have actually been thrilled to have all this extra time at home to crank out more content for you. Look, if you're finding it difficult to get started, I totally get it. A lot of times, especially when you're older, you're either stuck in your ways of the same negative thinking or you genuinely truly have so much responsibility that you just don't know if you can take on another commitment of some sorts. Why you need to just get started is that you really need to decide what type of content do you wanna create? A lot of times, just creating random content and getting yourself in front of the camera, eventually you're gonna find clarity. You're gonna realize, man, I'm filming a video, I'm putting on makeup for a video, I'm getting dressed for a video, I'm filming the video and then I'm editing the video and then I'm uploading, doing the background settings for all of this. Therefore, you're gonna realize that the content that you should create should be very valuable. So for those of you guys that think you're just too old to start a YouTube channel, start, don't give up. If you can only commit to like one video a month, then do that, it's better than nothing. Once a week would be amazing. And if you just have all the time in the world, two to three times a week is gonna be the fastest way to grow. Cheers to a million subscribers.